Welcome to the Cream City Chronicles. This is um, a podcast for Cream City Yarn, and I am Nicole. I am the owner of Cream City Yarn. And I'm Kate. I'm the manager of Cream City Yarn. Uh, you've seen our faces probably around the store for a while now. Mm -hmm. um, so Kate and I decided that we wanted to start a podcast, and we were thinking it over for a while. But then of course, kind of the stay at home measures really pushed us to the point where we like, we need to find a way to keep continuing to communicate with our customers and our friends. So here we are, this is episode two. And we got lots to share with you today. Yeah. We're excited. Yeah. <laughs> um, so we're kind of calling this summer, the summer of the knit along. So um, we're getting a lot of questions on what is a knit along? And how do I get into the knit along or whatever the case may be? So a knit along is, well, it's kind of like camp. Yeah. I mean, you're all working on the same project, but you all have different supplies or maybe you don't, maybe you got a kit and everything looks the same, but it's like, you're all doing it together virtually. Yeah. <laughs> Sometimes to... it's not even the same project. Sometimes no. it's using the same yarn or something like that yeah. so it's a community and an or like someone has organized something to keep everybody talking and knitting along yeah there's so. usually prizes if you're participating which is always a good thing and um, I mean they're just fun you can do like yeah. six at a time if you really want to you can I might see. yeah <laughs> I'm, I'm about to go into that neighborhood <laughs> certain ones you get free patterns so why not I mean really yeah so a lot of times they're put on by designers or they're put on a dyer or their yarn stores yarn stores so um, it's really just a community of support to help you get a project on um, or just so you can see what other people are working on and there's chat groups usually or hashtags just to keep you going and keep you inspired and to keep you moving so um well the we project based ones are fun too because mm -hmm. like you know sometimes you're going what should i knit i don't know what i should knit well, look at here this yeah. is a whole group of people knit the same thing <laughs> you don't have to pick <laughs> yeah so and it's just fun and especially this summer with we're gonna be staying at home a lot more, so, you know, not being able to get out, go to your knitting group or whatever, this is a great way to stay connected with your friends and your people. And so we are involved in a lot of knit-alongs this summer. So we wanted to highlight some of those and talk about some of them. Okay, so Farmer's Daughter. So Farmer's Daughter is a knit-along and it goes from Memorial Day to Labor Day. You can enter to win a prize um, and you can enter to win up to three times. So all and you some have- Some of you have already started. I mean, it's already going. Should have. So. For not so should've, should've, but got a good long period have. of time to do it. Yeah. Um, and the prize is from Farmer's Daughter. Uh, we don't know what it is, but it's a $150 value from Farmer's Daughter. Usually it's, uh, entry to get into their Montana mountain retreat. But they don't know if that's gonna happen. So it's a prize worth up to $150 from Farmer's Daughter. Which is exciting anyway. Yeah. So all you have to do to enter it is just be using part, at least part of your project needs to be done in Farmer's Daughter. Any Farmer's Daughter, you can mix it with other yarns if you're doing a color work or doing something that requires two different yarns. Just one has to be Farmer's Daughter. And to enter through Cream City Yarn, just email me your finished project and I will fill out the ballot for you and enter you in the drawing. And you would be emailed at info at creamcityyarn.com. Mm -hmm. So super easy, you can enter up to three times. We had a lot of fun with it last year. And this year we're doing so many other knit alongs that it's gonna be fun because you'll be able to double dip your farmer's daughter with a lot of the other things that we're doing. Which is always fun. I mean, more prizes for you, possibly. More prizes means more yarn, <laughs> means more knitting, means more fun. Yeah. Um, okay, so that's the Farmer's Daughter. So any entry uh, now through Labor Day, just send me a photo. Yeah, easy peasy. 
You could double dip it with Lindsay's Whip Wheel. Mm -hmm. Lindsay is one of our employees. She's super fun. You may know her from the millions of socks that she knits. She's like the craziest sock knitter we've ever met. Mm -hmm. She decided, she, she looked at her stash of partially started socks. It was sizable. <laughs> she also starts sweaters a lot too, because she's just an amazing knitter to begin with. But she loves to start things. And she decided, I mean, we all suffer from this affliction, uh -huh. Uh, that she was gonna use this app called the Tiny Decisions app where you could put all your whips onto this wheel and you could touch the wheel and it would tell you which whip to work on that day, which is genius. Yeah. <laughs> because sometimes I don't know which one I wanna do and there's just so many. And um, she's got a Ravelry group with prizes too going on uh, under her name, which is Sock Witchery, but we've got links to that in our description and in the email you guys got from us. So you can double dip any of the knit alongs that you're doing this summer with that Tiny Decisions Wheel app with her. Um, like we're gonna start the, and you can even add on with her whip wheel new things, like the mm -hmm. next knit along we're going to talk about, which is the Pan Glossian from so Thunder. <laughs> we, we just so found exciting. her, <laughs> it's very exciting. <laughs> we didn't know she existed until recently, which we feel terrible about. <laughs> She's got we, cute little projects. Right, she just finished a um, free sweater knit along called the Lady Fingers sweater, super cute. Check out her website. We'll provide a link in the in the profile as, or in the description box as well. Um, but she's going to do another one because it was so so like successful for her, and mm -hmm. everybody's really well and received it. So now we're getting behind it, and, mm -hmm. and her next one is called Panglossian, which is also out of DK, which you're going to hear a lot of DK. Um, Nicole's going to knit it. I'm just dying to show you my colors. I know Nicole's <laughs> going to knit it in Farmer's Daughter. So double dipping. Yeah. So I'm double dipping. I'm gonna, I picked out these colors. So I'm super into Farmer's Daughter Craggy Tweed. This looks dark, it's a little bit brighter. It's like a really dark it's teal. Brighter, it's really green pretty. in person. And then I'm gonna use this Queen City. Um, this will be like my main color. They're kind of even colors in the sweater, but this is going to be the one closest to my face. And this one will be the other Background. one. Yep. And, and I am going to do, oh, I know you're so excited. I'm going to do uh, mine out of stash because I have an embarrassing amount of stash. And DK means double knitting. I don't know if you knew that. Mm -hmm. Everybody well, should know this. Recently did I learn that <laughs> what it means is if you take two fingering weights and you hold them together, which we've seen a lot of patterns recently, um, you get a, a DK weight. So I, my plan is to hit up my fingering weight stash, which is sizable and <laughs> double up some fingering and hopefully knit my sweater from stash. I'm, I'm, there's some sparkles over on the wall that is really tempting me for this. So I may mix, so I, yeah, I, uh, I might mix, but it's gonna be really cute. So if you have a lot of fingering weight yarn in your stash, so like take two skeins, I think for my size that I need for one color and then two skeins for the next size, you can pull from the inside and the outside of the skein and hold them together and ta-da, DK! You don't need to go shopping. Mm -hmm. You can get you got all it in your stash. Um, but if you are looking for more colors than what we have in our DK, don't be sad. You can just walk over to the fingering weight wall and double it up. And we've got That's plenty so there. So good. The wall looks we'll get to really nice that. right now. <laughs> um, okay, so another KL. I'll let you do this one, the um, the Jameson yes. one. Yes, well we all know that I have a Jameson problem. I have a Jameson. <laughs> Not the booze, although it's delicious. I like Jameson and Smith Shetland Double dip that way. And you can knit and drink. <laughs> um, and they're doing a knit along too on their Ravelry page, which is knitting anything in Jameson. Just, it's, it's really like a- you Even could, if you already started. Yeah, you can finish your Katie's cap if you've been knitting along with me and maybe weren't very faceted or put it down and got distracted. It happens. Uh, you can do something new if you if you wanted to try. They're encouraging you to try new things with Jameson. If you always want to knit a pair of mitts with it, or if you wanted to knit a hat or a new sweater, it runs all summer. It's a really long knit along. But everybody who participates and puts a finished object in their Ravelry group gets a free pattern from their pattern library, so why not? Free pattern. And we even got um, three new colors to add to our Jameson wall. If you were watching Instagram, I apologize. I went a little nuts <laughs> when the box came. 
I made myself a Jameson like fort <laughs> with all the yarn. We got some oldies but goodies colors that we've had for a while, but we got like this super cute, uh, like heathery pink, beautiful. Mm -hmm. And this one I love, it's like a, a salmon-y color, peach, heather, the little bits of like bright green in there and orange. Like a little yellow in there. And then my all time favorite color, Kelly Green. I mean, you just can't go wrong with color. I know it's bright, but <laughs> if you use it in like color work, you want those bright poppy colors. So mm -hmm. this would look fantastic kind of popping out of somewhere. Or, you know, if you need to do a Packer hat or, yeah. I don't know, or no Packer knit along. <laughs> Packer, Packer colors, I don't know. I love Packers. <laughs> I love the Green Bay Packers. So I commonly wear yellows and greens. <laughs> it's a problem. But you can enter that in on Ravelry. Again, we'll put the link in the description. And I mean, I can't wait to see your guys' creativity. I'm like super excited for this one, <laughs> of course. Okay, so let's also talk about the Modern Hugo, which already started and we already sold kits. If you want to join in on this, you can still join in. Um, there's nothing preventing you from joining in a KOL late. Um, but just to touch base with my modern oh, Hugo angle. I know, I love this. These Hold are my two favorite bags. Oh, you're very yeah. <laughs> This is my knitter's backpack. This but it's is mini. The mini one. <laughs> but it's a, like, it sits like a bucket. It's super easy to carry. I love carrying it. I didn't think I would like carrying it because I'm not a backpack person. But I don't use it as a backpack. I use it as a sling. So. And it really holds all it. your and yarn. It's like the perfect bu bucket to like sit on my couch. Mm -hmm. And I love it. There's some bag jealousy right now. I can't help it. Put it away. No <laughs> regrets. No <laughs> regrets with that one. Oh my gosh. Um, so this is so squishy. This is my <gasps> modern Hugo. Oh so it's this is a lesson to myself because I always think I'm pretty cool and a huge rebel because I never swatch. And I'm like, maybe I might swatch on a sweater, but I would never swatch for a shawl, right? been ridiculous to me so I learned my lesson you did you and did I ran out of yarn now you gotta get yourself a mini skein yeah I got it mini skein of shame yeah <laughs> <laughs> mini skein of shame um but it happened to other people too so fortunately um you know, I got face. some speedy shipping from four pearls and got myself a little mini skein um I know another customer of ours ran out too but we had the DK weight here so they got a full skein and that's fine because she's gonna make a hat out of what's left so DK, DK weight generous I guess I won't be a rebel non-swatcher anymore just get, I'm still never gonna swatch for a sweater I will sure just end up with more mini skeins yeah, sure. of shame yeah I'll just <laughs> I'll just put it in the in the scrap basket if I have extra so it's fine no big deal um took care of it and, and yes. the last knit along we're going to talk about today is so exciting. Um, it's so big. It's the yeah. Olive so Knits four day sweater. And if you have, if you participated in, how many people did we have in our Zoom with uh, with Marie Green? Fifty. Oh, we had about sixty sign up. It was hard for me to keep track of who was actually. We in had a there. ton of people in our like Zoom. 40. Thank you for coming, by the way. I mean, it was really fun, and Marie enjoyed seeing all of our faces, even though we were all on mute. <laughs> but, but she loved seeing the support. It's it's super helpful for her to keep going. And I am so much more excited about this one than any other year. Not that I wasn't excited in other years, but I just think the sweater is. I mean, first off, it's a pullover. It's a pullover. And I love it's pullovers. unisex. Sex. You can make it for your man or your woman or mm -hmm. whoever you may mm -hmm. be. You can, it's for everybody. Um, and to me, it goes a lot faster. I think Marie kind of mentioned that she thought it would go slower because it was a pullover. It's but you're not faster. purling. So it goes way faster. Who wants to purl? No one. Mm -mm. No, no one. I mean, um, sorry, if you like purling, <laughs> I apologize. It's just I personally do yeah, not enjoy we're, purling. We're stereotyping. We don't. You could really like purling yeah. to prove us wrong. It's but I think it, it um, so I'm knitting the sample and I think it's going faster than the Yeah, you the cardigan. this out. Mm -hmm. Her colors are awesome. Are you just sneak peek? Um, I will, but I'll do it in the what's at the end, in my bags, you can see it at the end. 
so now you can um, stick around. Yeah. <laughs> um, I'm really excited about it, and I will actually definitely wear this for sure. And I think I'm gonna do a short sleeve version because we're totally into short sleeves lately. We are crazy into short sleeves, mm -hmm. and I think it'll make a cute summer sweater. Yeah. Well, you kind of picked a summer yarn, so it makes sense. Okay. And yeah. why not? Now I'll get a tote faster. Yeah. Who needs to make sleeves? <laughs> no one. You can always wear a cardigan over it that you just knit, so you can make <laughs> sleeves again. You can. Just start layering. We're gonna be hidden by the time it's winter. <laughs> Who needs to see anything? Special. All right, so let's talk about indie extravaganza. Extravaganza. It's so fun. <laughs> um, okay, so we have so much indie dyed yarn. It's awesome. It makes my heart sing. And so the vendors that we're including in the indie extravaganza our polka dot, farmer's daughter, Emma's, super fine. You've seen all those. Wild Haven, Northwoods, Less Traveled, Hedgehog, and we added one. Queen City too. But let's talk a little bit about our local dyers. Cause we love them. Yeah, we really do. It's good to stay local. I mean the speed at which they bring their stuff in. Yeah, and it's always fun to see them. I mean, and they'll get to chat with them. Not that we don't love our far away Andy Dyers. We do. We enjoy chatting with them, too. But it's fun to see their, your friends. I mean, why not? Mm -hmm. um, for example, we loved it when Kelly brought in her newest shipment. I mean, she got to see us squeal. <laughs> she, got, she got to see us. She, you guys, she so brought Kelly in. So from Northwoods Fibers is how much Waukesha area. Which is close. And it's like 10 miles away. Yeah, yeah, she's close. I live there. <laughs> um, she's relatively new. We had her for a trunk show last year, and I think she's been to a couple shows out in the Midwest since then. Has she been dying um, that long even? I don't think so. I don't think so. She has a really great like eye for colors. Um, yeah, and she's kind of known for her fades. Yes, and she brought... We said we would like a fade. <laughs> Get bundled. Well, I didn't even tell her. Did we? Mm -mm. Well, no. We talked about it. She read our mind. Yeah. That's what she did. She might She might have peeked on we some wanted of our live videos or something. Because we love it. On. But then she brings in this sample. There are four different skeins of yarn so in here. Pretty. Four. Do you see the difference? I don't. It just it's like an opera. And it just goes from one skein. She she knows about our purple friends too. She knows we love purple. To another skein. To another skein. I mean, you, <laughs> it, it, it's crazy. They're beautiful. To the final skein. And we only have one of these bundles left, so get on it. Mm -hmm. It could be yours. Don't be afraid. It's probably still there. If you have support your local yarn stores, support your local dyer. So cute. Brag to all your friends. We will clearly be getting more saved because that was neat. <laughs> and then she also knows that we have a neon issue. <laughs> uh, if I have a Jameson problem, she's got a neon issue. <laughs> <laughs> but it's fun for summer because neon. Oh yeah, they're Are these pretty. not the greatest neons? So I mean, awesome. come on. And they've got great names like Swizzle for your drink stick. <laughs> and some are loving. And then the Sun's Out, Bun's Out. I mean, best name, right? What's the last one we've got here? Uh, Infinity Pool. I mean, you can't go wrong with a good summer. So you can neon. make a good little fade out of those guys too. Right? Or, I mean, you could fade it. You could do some kind of cute, beachy, like a shawl for covering up over your favorite swimsuit. How cute would that be? Or like at night when you're on the pontoon and you need a little cover up. There you go. Well, your social distancing. And you can still be spotted. Yes. We're gonna let that guy go. All right. And then the next indie dyer from Wisconsin, well, from Milwaukee even, that we have is our good friend Kate from Wild Haven Yarns. We've had her, I mean, she's been around for a while. And her and her daughter, Willa, they named their yarn. Did you see that video, that TikTok video that Willa made? No. 
<laughs> oh, we're looking it up I after we're done taking it. it. You have to go. It's so funny. <laughs> they name their yarns like the cutest things, and she always helps her drop it off. She's super enthusiastic about yarn, and she's adorable. Mm -hmm. I mean, Willa is the cutest. We're, we're Willa fans. I love how she like knows how to pick out yarn. She does. She's just like that experienced. <laughs> and she's so little. <laughs> but I'm gonna let you talk about these. some of these. I love this one, of course, because it's got that bright green chartreuse. Kate in always it. throws like unexpected colors together. She's yeah. so good at throwing color pops on her yarns. Mm -hmm. I mean, this is called Lusk. She went a little green here. That's good because yeah. the last time somebody we she had we a bright a green. green and we sold out of it. And I got a couple phone calls of people wanting it. And it was gone. But there's some more greens back. Are you with me? It's a green name. Oh yeah. I was like, I'm out of you where? Right. Are you with me? <laughs> this is changes the world. I like this one, it's earthy. Yeah, I like the teal in it. It's really pretty. Mm -hmm. I mean, uh, the green in there is so different from the teal. Mm -hmm. It's just a cute stain. Sour jelly beans. Is I love back. this one. Nice and bright. Neon. It's cool green. Little speckles in there. Pinky rose. I love that pink. Yeah. It's Everything is pajamas. Great name. I feel like with, I sense Willa. <laughs> I feel like with every one of Wild Havens that she brings in, there's kind of a theme to it. Like she had the office theme and lately we've kind of had COVID yeah. theme. Pandemic theme. <laughs> Although these two darker ones, she these also ones does too. really nice like darker moodier skeins. Mm -hmm. Like this one's called Easy Morning. I mean look at that. That's It's gray and it's red and it's got blacks and burgundies. It's just a really pretty, like if you were making man socks, mm -hmm. that'd be pretty nice as a man sock. Or the one you've got would be mm -hmm. nice. Almost like a dress sock. This one is a lot like one of like some of the fade stuff too. Yeah. But it's still more of like a, a beigey gray than a purple. Mm -hmm. Like it's mm -hmm. not it's got like a tint of There's purple in it, but it's tint, not yeah, a lot. But it's not purple. It's like a It reminds me of her purple Paul Rudd colorway that is super popular. Yeah. Okay. We love Paul Rudd. Yeah. <laughs> so those are our local dyers. And we also stayed local for our little like stitch marker gift that you get if you purchase from our Indie Extravaganza list, either online or in store, you will get a stitch marker to say thank you. I mean, while the supplies last, obviously. Mm -hmm. And we've got a lot of supplies, so don't oh, it's worry. Also local. You said that, She's right? local, local, yeah. Mm -hmm. So we, we've been trying to stay around here this summer and make sure we give back to our community and keep it, keep it in the fam. Yeah. Keep everything kind of, keep everybody going. Keep all of our spirits up, especially in our area, because you gotta love the Wisconsin makers. You can't, you can't hate on them. Mm -mm. So make sure you pick up some fun skeins. Maybe double it up for a DK waiting it along. Who knows? Mm -hmm. Or a figure waiting it along. Up to you. You could be doing it all. Who knows? Oh, um, we are. And then uh, speaking of more things coming up, we, Casa Pinka is Casa doing Pinka. something fun now. She's gonna do another yeah. pattern. So everybody loved the Breathe and Hope pattern. It was a huge hit. And I think it's so awesome that Casapinka supports the local yarn, uh, <laughs> the local yarn stores, um, <laughs> by putting out this pattern. So she gives the codes to the yarn stores, and then the yarn stores um, gives away her pattern with a purchase of any two skeins of fingering white yarn. So what's happening again? She did another pattern to help out. The local yarn and store. this one's really cute. I really like Super this one. Cute. I mean, and the other one was cute too, but yeah. this one is like a different direction. It's a different shape, isn't it? It's a good crescent. You'll see it soon. Um, so it's really cool that she does this. Um, awesome way to support um, the small businesses. Um, helping out any way you can. Um, so this one is kind of the same. It's a shawl. It's two colors. You want one solid, one kind of variegated. And we will have kits. We're gonna have kits. We're gonna have kits from my friends at Queen City Yarn. And where are they based on? Uh, Charlotte. Oh. Mm -hmm. So Queen City is Charlotte's like nickname. And like all their bases are named after areas or landmarks in Charlotte. And their colors are fun. And so they're friends of mine that I've met through my sister and retreats that we have been to together. 
and they're fun. So they put together some kits, one of which will mock the colors that Casa Pinka used. So if you like those colors, we're gonna have something similar. Yeah. Might not be the same yarn she used, but it'll be very similar looking when you knit it up because, I mean, Queen City's really good. It won't be the same yarn because Casa Pinka used her own personal stash. So she's not telling you exactly what it was because she doesn't even remember. But we um, can get close. <laughs> But our dyers got close for us. So we're getting kits from Queen City and we're also getting some from Emma's. And we will definitely have the Queen City in time for the pattern release, but you which could... is June 3rd, 4th, and 5th is when we'll be giving away the pattern. I know that some, some stores, which is great, are already selling their kits now, um, but we decided um, let's just wait for that weekend. <laughs> okay so for the hug shot we'll also have we have kits coming from emma oh that's exciting she also dyed a color that looks like the one casapinka used so we'll have that color to be sold individually and then we have kits coming from emma too i'm i just i'm excited about all this yarn it's gonna be and I, what's what's up with shawls lately i don't know man i mean it's shawl season but i typically don't like shawls but shawls seem they're killing shawls it. and short sleeve sweaters i guess it's summer that's our new short sleeve sweaters and shawls yeah it's a, it's a fashion statement i guess kind of like if you're home all the time i can deal with shawls a lot easier than trying to like wear them out everywhere true I'm not gonna i can't wear them roller skating though i've learned that lesson i won't be knitting away. a shawl I'm not a shawl knitter. I'm a sweater <laughs> knitter. That's, I have a sweater problem. And hats. You like hats? I do like hats. Hats are fun. You know, I've only done one pair of mittens in my life. I don't do any mittens. Oh, good for you. And it was a class, too. Yeah. Yeah, that's all I've ever done. Well, Won't do that again. I just can't Maybe. suffer through shawls. My ADD will not let me. <laughs> it's too long. I, I like to have a sweater, a shawl, and like something else on my heels. Like I like, oh, well, always socks. I'm like, sweater, 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 and then boom, <laughs> hat in the middle. <laughs> Maybe a mitten. <laughs> Just for a palette cleanser. Well, speaking of, what is in your bag right now? What's in our bag? Why are you knitting? Okay, let's get this monster out of the way first. Okay, so I, I'm still like really nervous to show this, but by the time we get this podcast posted, I'll be able to show it. So this is my sample for the Murray Green Knit Along and I'm loving it. I chose to do three colors. You were naughty. That's naughty. Yeah. Well, you want a yarn store. That's what I get to do. <laughs> Good for me. Um, so yeah, I love this. This is in Brooklyn Tweed Dapple, which is not going to be Available till June seventeenth, so it's coming, and you could do yours in it, mm -hmm. but just not yet. Yep, not yet. But you could still get it in plenty of time to do the Marie Green oh four day knit along. It's a DK. It's a cotton and wool blend, and then for my stripes, I'm using Spin Cycle. So I have three different colors of Spin Cycle, and I'm probably gonna take the leftovers, maybe do another show. Maybe do the night shift with all these leftovers I have. We'll see. I don't know. It's pretty darn cute. I think I know. So yeah, I think I, I'm going to modify. Do a throw over. A short sleeve throw over. Oh my gosh. Short sleeve throw over? It's the summer of short <laughs> I swear. It's I don't. Good. Who wasn't in a sleeve this summer? Not me. I don't know. I, I bought. Um, but do a throw over. These are so pretty. I bought that nightshades from <gasps> Firefly. So I could do the nightshades. Well, this color might be a little dark, but I can have Put it in the middle. Maybe. We'll see. Stay tuned. <laughs> <laughs> I'll convince you to do the throw over. You watch. Okay. What do you got? Um, we'll go back and forth. We'll go back. Okay. So I'll continue on. I'm knitting a store sample for Dapple, uh, which you will see. I'll show it to you. Okay. What? Shut your face. So this is the <laughs> Lady Fingers by More Thunder. She, if you go to, she just did this as a free knit along. So if you want a free DK weight pattern, go to her website. Is and it still free after it's still her knit along? Yeah, it's, it's over. still there. It's up. You can just go cool. get it. 
If you want to send her some money, I mean, you can buy the pattern in PDF form on Ravelry, and that's cool too. No judgment. I mean, she she deserves to make she money deserves off of this. that. Yeah. But um, if you don't, or if you just want to be Snoopy and go see how it is, <laughs> <laughs> like, you know, it's fun to do that. She's also still got it on her website, and I really like this dapple. I mean, it is a beautiful yarn. I, Mark your calendars for June seventeenth. It's it's got forty percent cotton in it, so it's not a full half half wool cotton. And you can kind of feel the cotton in there, but it's got a nice hand. The wool is just still it's so still beautiful. stretchy, so it doesn't hurt your hands. And the other reason we're gonna be super in love with this yarn in particular from Brooklyn Tweed is because it's milled in Two Rivers, Wisconsin. So yeah, go Wisconsin, Wilma people. Like it's just keeping it in the state. We're yeah. all about this local stuff. And it, it makes us feel like we've got a little part in it, which, yeah. you know, got to support it. But this has just been, I'm, it's five colors that I'm using. So those are the five colors, and then I'm going to kind of repeat them, but not in the same order as I continue on. But I love how graphic it is. It's just a cool, mm, so crisp. Look at, I'm going to the, the arms off. And short sleeve sweater. So not always going to have any sleeves. <laughs> All right, your next one. Because I'm next. It's going to glow off the table. Oh, yeah. I need to this one next. Okay, so we just talked about the hug shot. So I got the pattern a little bit early from Casa Pinka, um, so I can knit up a sample. I don't think my sample's gonna be done in time for one. I mean, I'll try, I'll do my best, but. We'll get distracted. I'm sure something else will come up and I'll cast on something else, but I did start it. So at least I have a starting of it and it's really fun. Um, Guess what color it is. And I'm using a Northwoods. Oh, it's neon. Neon. <laughs> that, Who knew? Um, I got this from the trunk show that mm -hmm. she did here last year. And then I've got, oh, I guess I should show this one too. Also my Emma's no she did. flash photography. It didn't even make it to the wall. Like, she bought it right together. out of the box. Oh, I love them. Okay, the, so here's the, shawl just here's the beginning of my shawl. Oh my goodness. I I don't know it looks so good on the camera. what world I will wear this in. Um, everywhere. But We're I'll figure it out. We're going to throw those fancy glitter um, shawl snaps on, the leather shawl snaps, <laughs> and you can roller skate around the store. I don't match perfectly with my beach money skates. <laughs> Maybe we should have 80s night. Sophisticated <laughs> skates. Oh, I would be so down for an 80s night. Maybe we'll do an 80s knit night. You can only come in if you've got neons. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, otherwise get out. Just kidding. And I will show my last, okay, I still, I want to participate in the Jameson, the knit along. I probably will put in more than just this, but I just wanted to show you, I've made very little progress on my North Shore vest for my brother. Um, once I get past this ribbing, I know I'm gonna cruise, but I got distracted by this color work. So not much progress, but I have progress. <laughs> and progress. I'm still gonna keep plugging away at that. I'm proud of you. It's, it's awesome. Um, okay, I have one last thing that I'm about to finish up. Oh yeah, forget that. I'm almost done. This was the Love Your LYS kit from Emma. Super cute. Just super simple cowl. Um, awesome for just if you have that skein of fingering white we always have a stash of fingering white yarn so this is a great one for that you can do a two color or one color so it's a one it's a total of a one skein project but you can do it with two colors you could do it with four colors mm -hmm, cute. you can do it however you could start the whole thing you could do it with many colors but whatever it's really cute the it's really cute. cute it's almost done i'll probably be done with it today look at your little acorn stash marker that's mm -hmm. adorable yeah cheryl gave it to me paper. adorable Oh. Oh. And a fangirl fibers. Baby Yoda. Naturally. Little guy too. Oh, and this this little kit came with this cute little bag too. Oh, which that reminds me. Okay. A prize for everybody that stuck with us till the end. Thanks. For the Murray <laughs> Green knit along. Oh We're yeah. We're also gonna have a coordinating sweater project bag. My beautiful sister, which is who makes this one. So, so once you figure out the theme of the knit along, because there is a theme according to Marie. Well, I can tell you because you're gonna know. 
we are not posting this till tomorrow. Oh, well, yeah. So the theme is soundtrack. So this is kind of like inspired by a cassette tape. If you can kind of see it, I see it. And it's clear um, when she does it in her actual picture in the solid color. Yeah. <laughs> and um, I thought so. They also made a Spotify playlist for us too. Yeah. And then we're hoping the bag. The bag has the bag has um, like cutest print ever. Cassettes and um, headphones and Walkmans and all that kind of stuff. Beautiful sister. Super cute. My totally was so helpful with this because we were like, we want a bag. <laughs> <laughs> and they stopped right up for it. And they're also pretty local too. I think they're in Illinois. So um, so they're getting that for us. So that'll be really fun. And we're going to try to get some matching stitch markers too. Um, the bag might not be here by cast on day, but it will at least be here shortly after. So. And the fabric's cute. It doesn't have to go with the bag. Yeah, it's you can use it for cute. anything. Um, I just thought it was a great theme. Because if we would have been having the birthday party, that was going to be our theme too. So, next time. Now we got all sorts of fun stuff to do. Yeah. Well, thank you guys for sticking with us for as long as you did. And we will, you know, catch us up on Instagram or Facebook or wherever you follow us on social media or read our emails if you miss us. <laughs> <laughs> And we will see you the next time we try and podcast. I'm going to do it two weeks. Yeah, two weeks. Because we're good. Yeah, because it's enough time to knit something. All right. We'll see you soon. Yeah. Bye. Bye. Have a great day.